Today we're going to be running through how to set up a product in Kartra and in particular how to set up the pricing information and the details that will occur in the checkout. I'm Paul Agile and I'm a sales funnel builder and digital marketer. So here we are in Kartra and we're in the My Products section. So the first thing we need to do is come down to the bottom right, click on the green plus product button and the first thing that we're offered is to name our product and we're just going to call this as, an, as a test product so we'll call it um, course example and then we're offered the choice of whether to set it up as a main product or an upsell this is going to be a main product uh, an upsell is exactly as it say, sounds uh, where you can upsell from the main product. When you're ready, click on the green next button. And then Kartra presents you with a number of steps that need to be filled out. So it's very logical, so you can work your way through those steps and you're very unlikely to miss anything out. First thing that you need to do is add the product details. So there's the official name. And a description. I'll just put how to do ABC. Just be aware that these, uh, both the name and description here, can appear in the shopping cart or in other places such as the receipt. So make it make sure that it makes sense for your customers. You can change the image that's associated with your product here. Just be aware that you can upload a square image, but it will be cropped to a circle, as you see here. Then I have a chance, an opportunity to uh, put it into the marketplace, which is the Kartra marketplace for affiliates to sign up to. I'm going to keep it private. Then you choose your payment processor. I'm going to put uh, in my Stripe payment processor for credit cards. You have the opportunity to choose PayPal. Just be aware that there are some restrictions uh, in using PayPal if you have it as your only payment processor, particularly with regards to all the bump up sales. Once you're ready, click on all the save buttons and then click the black save and next button at the bottom. Now we go through to the important part, which is the pricing. There's four different pricing options. One time, which is fairly self-explanatory. Recurring, which is if you want to set up, a, say, a, a membership where you have a, the same amount that you're billing each month or each week. Installments is a set number of um, payments which are paid either monthly or weekly and then recurring installments, which is really like a, a combination of, of these two. So we're set up, maybe just for this example, is we're set up a couple of uh, common ones. To so say our example product, um, first of all, you need to put in a description of, of the payment type. I'll just put in one time, and this might occur again on the checkout. And say we're, our course is gonna, cost that amount and then there are some further options you can set it up with an initial payment which is then uh, different to uh, further payments um, we set this up as a default price and then you can add um, additional price points so you can sell one product but addition, um, multiple price points I'm going to set up installments so a customer can either purchase a one time or pay with installments. An installment price, say one five for three installments and they're gonna be monthly installments. Again, you can put in an initial payment if you want. Uh, for example, if you want to set up a trial um, there's one extra box when you have installments, which are in, instant versus delayed cancellation. Um, what that is, is if you've got, let's say a membership, if somebody does cancel, it's whether that cancellation takes 
effect immediately or at the end of, if they're paying monthly, at the end of that month. I'll leave it on its default setting for now. Click on save here. And then you have an option for setting up shipping costs. This is great if you've got a physical product. We're actually selling a digital course, so there's no shipping costs. So I'm going to leave that as the default. Um, then the sales tax, with your charging sales tax or VAT or any other taxes, you can set that up and it's specific for each country if you want to do that. I'm not going to be charging sales tax, so I'll save that as the default. And then there's the refund policy. And here you have a choice of how many days you want to set up your refund policy, or if you want no refund policy at all. I'm going to leave it as the default for 30 days. Click on save, and then the black save and next button. Now we're through to the next stage, which is setting up our pages. The product page is the sales page. And I'll just add a sales page that I already have. You have the, op uh, the option of choosing an external or a Kartra page. I'll just choose one of my Kartra pages that is already set up. Uh, sales page. And then click on save. And then um, you choose your thank you pages as well. I'm going to choose an existing Kartra page. And if you wanted to, you could set up, for your different price points, you could set up different uh, thank you pages. So it might have slightly different information on there for your customers. Click on save and then save and next. Now we'll go through to the checkout. The first option is the, the look and feel. So you can choose a Kartra hosted checkout page. And then there are some changes that you can make to the color. The default color is this gray and cyan, um, but you can change to other, other color themes. So if you prefer something like yellow, um, there are some orange themes within here as well. And as you can see, some, some green ones. The other options are having a, a pop-up overlay. Again, you can see what they look like here for embedding a, a, a form. I'm going to stick with the Kartra hosted checkout page. So click on the green save button if you make any changes. Then you have the option of putting a header logo in or not. I'm going to leave it as default. Uh, if you've got a Kartra help desk, you can um, add it in here. Then an important point is the checkout forms. And, and this is the information that you're going to collect from your customer when they're buying. If you want to add additional fields, for example, if you wanted to add a telephone field, you can select that from the drop down. Product quantity is, if you're selling a course, you might just want to sell one. If you wanted to sell multiples, you can put it in there. Express checkout, we're going to leave it as the full checkout experience. And then an important part is cart abandonment tagging. So if we just click to open that, this what this allows you to do is tag users as they've, um, if they come to your shopping cart and then leave without purchasing allowed you to follow up with them so i'm going to click on yes and then i'm going to set up a tag for these people um, we can choose either either of your price points but i'm going to choose multi price points so it's going to set a tag for um for anybody who's come to the shopping cart and doesn't purchase um, as i don't have a tag set up i'm going to click on this blue button and set up a course example so that's set up as course example abandoned and just put in a description and then create and then add here 
and then save. And that what that allows you to do is then send out a sequence of emails just as reminders for those people who have abandoned their car. Check out language, I'll leave as English, but you have a choice of changing that. Then under terms and conditions, you have the option of requiring customers to tick an I agree to billing terms uh, box there. And you can put in the terms and your billing terms in, in here if you want to um, add that. And then the final point on this page is bump offers, which is additional offers which appear in, in the shopping cart before a customer puts their credit card details in. I'm going to leave it as don't activate at the moment, but I'll put a, a separate video together on how to use bump offers. So save and next. And then another important part from a marketing point of view is you can add your buyers to either a email list or out or to tag your customers. And I would recommend you actually do both of these. Um, what I normally do is have at least a customer list and a leads list. So people who haven't bought and people who are, who are bought. So what I'm going to do is add buyers to a list which I set up earlier which is called course example buyers and you can add the different price points to different lists if you if you wish I'm going to add them to the same one and when you've done that just click save what that allows you to do is then send out customized emails to just people that have bought your product so it might be say a, a VIP buyers um, special offer. You also you can also tag your customers as as well. So I would just choose a tag, and I've already set up a tag um, for this particular product. Uh, example course buyers and. I'll do that for, for both price points. Right, so that is now set up. Right, what we, we now have the option of doing is how people can access their products. So if you've got a Kartra membership set up, you can actually put the details in here and Kartra will automatically send out the membership um, access details. If you're integrating with a different membership, such as Kajabi, then you can put the details in here. If you have a downloadable file, this might be a very simple PDF file that you're selling. Um, you can have Kartra automatically email this to your customers or you might have just uh, no access and that is probably if you're selling something that doesn't have a digital download such as you're offering some consulting so that would be the last and fourth option I'll just click and save that as it's uh, an example product the final option here is advanced automations and one important one that you might want to put in here, in fact, you probably will want to put in, is if someone refunds the product, what should you do? Uh, and this is set up so um, it's just an if then statement. And the, uh, the if part of this would be if someone refunds product and you can put in what the actual product is and what the price point is. And you have a number of options and one of the options is revoke access to the membership and you can then just put that in you may also want to set this up so if anyone does refund a product the tag the buyers tag is actually removed from them as, as well so once that is set up you can just click on save 
and then save and next. Then you have the options for setting up your affiliate program. That's a whole um, area in itself, so I won't uh, deal with that today. So we'll just click save and next, and then you have your product all set up. If you're hosting your sales page on your own website, then you'll copy and paste this code into the body section of your website. But if you're hosting it on Kartra, we're ready to go and get set up in our checkout page. I've chosen one of the Kartra checkout page templates so that I can demonstrate how to transfer the information that we've just set up into the checkout. So we're all ready to make our edits. I haven't edited any of this page yet. So you just come over to where the checkout placeholder is. Click on the pencil icon. And then you choose your funnel and your product. And then you have the option of choosing either individual price points or multi price points for individual price points you'll be able to have a different checkout experience for each price i'm going to choose then you're given the option of traditional or two-step checkout i'll just choose the traditional so you can see it and then it starts loading up some information here i'm just going to now publish this page just so you can see what it actually looks like live so click on publish live Here is the information that we set up when we are setting the product up. So there's the course title and description and the image, which you can change. Then there's the two payments that we set up, the one time payment and the three installments. So that's all changeable within that product. And that's how you set up a product in Kartra. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, stick around for my next videos, which will be on how to set up order bumps and upsells.